inspired kids. What is the most baddest thing you ever did? When I was 15 years old I pulled a dude off a train track, and from being run over by a train, was me and a drunk dude late at night waiting for the train in my hometown. And I saw him stumbling around close to the tracks, and then he just fell on the tracks. I shouted a few times to him, if he was okay, but no response or movement. And just a few seconds later I see in the distance a train is coming. Though not a train, that is going to stop at this station, so it is coming real fast. I didn't really have a lot of time to think, so I ran over, jumped down onto the tracks, and hauled the guy from the tracks maybe just 3 seconds before the train zoomed by, was super scary, and I still, have some bad dreams about this, but also proud, that I acted during that moment. I got stabbed, and drove myself on a moped to a hospital, realizing I wanted a joint afterwards. I went to a coffee shop first to get some green. Knowing that by the time I was gonna be released from the hospital all the coffee shops would be closed it was night. I'm not too proud of this story necessarily, but my friends always call it my baddest story. Gotta have your priorities in line. Wanting a toke after getting stabbed is reasonable in my books. With one throw. Sent two tea bags at two mugs. Both nestled perfectly into place. Girlfriend witnessed it and swooned. I acted nonchalantly but inside I was screaming. Source British. I ended an Uber trip. I would have said thanks. But by some reason I said happy birthday. It was really his birthday. I was in 7th grade. So this one kid standing in the front of the class was throwing his pen to another kid. Who was seated in the back. My desk was in the middle of the class and I stretched my arm out cause I was tired oblivious to what was happening around me right as the pen was passing over me, catching it midair, with two of my fingers, same way you'd hold a cigarette, then proceeded to write with it like nothing happened. Those kids lost their minds. Peas I did give them their pen back. Reminds me of what happened to me a few days ago. Our classroom has 4 trash cans for recycling, and one morning I had just entered the room when someone throws a piece of paper towards the bin for plastic waste, which I was right next to, so I looked up, still tired, moved my hand just slightly, caught it one handedly, threw it in the paper can, and went onto my, desk, as someone who has never in his life, been good at sports, I felt pretty badass. Hopped a slow moving freight train from the far side of town, to get near my house, after leaving a party at about 4am. Middle school dodgeball. Two kids were selected as team leaders. It was a popular sporty guy and my buddy. Teams ended up being popular versus unpopular, like it was the movie Chicken Little. Anyway, towards the end of one game it ended up being me alone, versus three jocks. At the time I was a chubby little kid with very little athleticism. I was on the defensive with no dodge balls in range to grab. The three of them all take aim at once, and throw at the same time. Something in me explodes, and I catch one in my right hand, and one in my left as I'm reveling in that fact. The third one hits me square in the chest. As soon as I can react I lunge forward, and catch it in between the dodge balls I was holding in each hand. The teacher was stunned, and he pointed at the three guys and said out, out, out. A roar erupts from my team as they get up, and start congratulating me. I felt like an invincible hero for the rest of the week. I went to the grocery store specifically for eggs. It was the only thing I needed, and someone was blocking my way. So I said excuse me, and made an old man roar with laughter. Greatest achievement ever. I used to work in a restaurant and I went to restock the freezer on the kitchen line and I walked out of the walk-in freezer and I was carrying around 45 pounds of food in my arms and my friend on the other side of the kitchen threw a cheesecake bite at me to catch in my mouth. It fell short and was going to hit the ground but I kicked it up and caught it in my mouth. When I worked in a kitchen my shoes top and bottom were so filthy I'm cringing at eating something that touched them. Oh yeah they were filthy, and I instantly regretted it. My ex best friend came into my work a while back. She threw a right hook punch. I caught it. Then she threw a left hook. I caught it. I was holding both her hands up, and she went to kick me, and in one smooth motion I blocked the kick. 
turned her around crossing her arms in front of her and put her in a bear hug from behind and told her to calm down and leave thank you Bill Burr for teaching me that move. Edit I didn't do anything to piss her off. She had come into my work before we closed I managed a pizza place to be a show off to her group of friends. She did end up leaving and I'm very glad I stopped hanging out with her. Edit I'm a female. New Year's Eve probably 18, 19 years old I'm partying with my friends downtown. One of my friends gets jumped by three guys. One of them being the ex-boyfriend of my friend's girlfriend. It's happening in a heavily packed street, so I don't notice it until a few seconds after it's started. I completely lose sense of safety and jump into the fight. Broke the nose of the ex-boyfriend and drag my friend out of the fight and behind me. Then I start yelling that it's amazing how it takes three to beat one, so loud that now the whole street is watching. They tried to keep fighting but me and my friend fought them off together pretty easily. The ex sued me and lied about me instigating the fight. I told my mom and dad considering it might go to court. My dad asked, could you have done it differently? And when I said no he just said then I'm glad he has you as a friend. Duck me if that wasn't the proudest I ever felt back then. I rode my motorbike from the Netherlands to Mongolia. That was pretty cool. Living through heart and kidney failure twice before turning 21. My friends still think that I can't be killed to this day. Maybe you actually can't. We need to test this hypothesis. When I was a kid, I got bullied by some of the neighborhood kids. One night, on my way to the store, two of them stopped me because, I guess, they had nothing better to do, so they are both crowding me, and one of them punches me square in the jaw, too chicken shit to do anything, I just stood there, so they talk more shit and this kid goes to punch me in the jaw again, but I saw it coming, so I put my hand up, to try to deflect it, and his fist went right into my palm, I was just trying to avoid getting punched again, and these two thought I caught this dude's fist in the air, like we were in a movie. I was scared shitless Marizo then after the first punch, because I thought it would upset him, and he was gonna beat my ass, but they just blew it off and walked away, they never bothered me again. They figured you step up your game with every attempt, 1 get punched, 2 block punch, 3 counter punch, 4 burn down their houses, 5 profit from their house insurance, 6 sleep with their moms, 7 become the father that they never had, 8 ground them. I played on a soccer team once, we qualified for a tournament that teams from neighbor countries would attend. We get to the finale, by half time we were behind 1-3. I was on the bench the entire first half. The coach decided that I should get on the field. I went out and scored 3 goals and we ended up winning 4-3 and won first place in that tournament. Safe to say, my confidence was at an all time high. I hacked a gas pump and made the gas 1.9 cents a gallon. Reported the vulnerability to the company and got nothing for it. Go figure. How does one hypothetically go about doing this? Don't you have to have access to their computer system inside? I'm curious if you worked for a gas station or just got lucky. I got gas for 39 cents a gallon once due to a new employee. I probably shouldn't have told my entire family to come. But I did. Many electronic machines use the keypad for settings maintenance. It's usually just a matter of knowing the button sequence to activate that mode of operation. I think it was like 4 years ago. Was at a judo tournament and while fighting I dislocated my shoulder. But at the time I was full with adrenaline. So what I did was I fixed it myself and got back in the fight. It did hurt like crazy after that but damn it was worth it. The face my opponent the referee and my friends was priceless. By the way it was the final fight for first and second place and qualification for the nation ales and I won. I got groped in the cafeteria by a guy in 9th grade. I used to get lunch from home and a steel fork and spoon to go with it. I stabbed his hand with a fork for groping me. We were at a party for a friend of a friend's birthday. My roommate and I were playing the birthday boy and a friend of his in beer pong. They were kicking ass. We had one cup left, while we still had all 10. 
we then started joking, that we were letting them win, because of his birthday, obviously just shit talking seeing as we were losing badly, I was asked to prove it, and ensued to hit 9 cups in a row, missing the last one by a small margin, they were shocked, but somehow got their cup in with the next throw, sticking to my story I still claimed, that I'll let them win, and out the remainder of my beer looking away throwing the ball back to them with my left hand, sinking it in the last cup. Probably the college equivalent of walking away away from an explosion without looking. On my way to the bus stop, I saw a bean on fire. Well, no flames, but lot of smoke coming out of it. Most likely because someone threw a not quite dead cigarette butt in it. I grabbed my bottle of water and emptied it in the bin. Barely stopping to do, so smoke was definitely out. I carried on walking to the bus stop, and didn't turn back, eyes fixed straight ahead. I played it nonchalant, but in my mind I felt like someone who walks away from an explosion, and is too cool to look back and show fear. I felt like a total badass. I saved trash from a burning building. There was this bully that went to the same school as my little brother. He was like 26. My brother about 14 it was a job education school for people of any age. The guy started harassing my brother online and in school by making fun of him. Then one day it got physical and my brother got hit in the face. Right after it happened he called me and told me what happened. I finally decided this was it. I looked up the guy on Facebook. Tattoos. Fake ass accuser appearance. I thought well this could get dangerous. But anyone who has a little brother knows that your instincts call for protection in such cases regardless of potential dangers. So I went there and confronted him relatively calm and reasonably. But what happened then I never would have thought. Instead of directing his aggression against me he confessed, apologized and swore he would leave him alone. In front of his friends he stood there like a kid having to answer to its daddy. I'm not an impressive guy. I'm about 170. Young appearance never hurt anyone in my life. In the past I was always bullied and looked down on in school. So it was the greatest feeling for the first time in my life standing up to a bully and bringing him to reason with just words. No violence. My brother learned Dalit from that day and he was able to finish school in peace. I never had a big brother that stood up for me in the past, but taking that role myself and successfully doing it just with words and being present made up for many years of self-doubt and having to go through that alone. So I know it's not ultra badass in the sense that there was no physical aspect to all of this, but I don't care. I never felt more badass than on that day. Last year I was going out a tube station. And while walking up the stairs I noticed my phone wasn't in my coat's pocket anymore, and I knew it just happened, even if I didn't feel anything. There was a boy passing me, so I assumed he was a pickpocket, and even if I wasn't 100% sure about it, I caught his arm, and told him to give me back my phone. I felt he was a bit panicked. He said that he saw someone who stole my phone and run back to the tube station. I was suspicious, and kept holding his arm. And after I checked around, if I could find a witness, but there was nobody obviously I asked him to show what was on his small bag. And then he gave me back my phone. I released his arm, and told him he was an asshole. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.